How you doing? This is Ivan from Bite Size Wisdom for Busy People and I'm back with another idea to help you live more consciously. Today our topic is on our subtle bodies. In modern psychology they refer to the three dimensions of the mind as being the conscious, the subconscious, and unconscious. And from a yoga and Vedanta point of view they are known as the gross, the subtle, and the causal dimensions of the human personality. And these three aspects are then subdivided into the five koshas or bodies that go from the grossest to the most subtle dimensions of existence. Kosha is a Sanskrit word that means sheath. So you can think of it as a layer of an onion and we're just peeling the layers back. And many spiritual traditions have identified and classified our subtle bodies, although there will be some slight variance among them. But today I just want to do a short introduction into the five koshas. The five koshas correspond to the psychological, physiological, and the different levels of awareness. The first kosha is anamaya kosha, also known as the food body. And this is awareness of our physical body. The next kosha is the pranamaya kosha, also known as our pranic body. This is awareness of our physiological functions like our digestion. The pranic body is the underlying energy network of our physical body and prana is the energy currents or bioplasmic energy in our body. Both anamaya and pranamaya kosha relate to the conscious mind and the psychological dimension and to our everyday wakeful awareness in our physiological state. The third kosha is the manamaya kosha or the mental body. This is awareness of our mental and emotional processes. And the fourth kosha is Vinyanamaya kosha, or our astral body. This is awareness of our psychic and causal dimensions. This is the body that you have in your dreams, or if you have an out-of-body experience. And both Manamaya kosha and Vinyanamaya kosha relate to the subconscious mind in the psychological dimension and to our dreaming awareness in our physiological state. And the last and most subtle kosha is the Anandamaya Kosha, also known as the bliss body. This is a homogeneous awareness, basically unconsciousness. It relates to the unconscious mind in the psychological dimension and to deep sleep or deep meditative awareness in our physiological state. And this state is beyond human duality, beyond human experience. In meditation, the more subtle dimensions are progressively realized as our sensory awareness is withdrawn. And in our pranic body, yogic texts say that we have over 72,000 nadis. Nadis means current, flow, or passage. And when these nadis flow freely, we are vital and healthy. And when they are weak or congested, we struggle with our mental and physical health. And out of all these nadis, three are considered the most important. They are Ida, Pingala, and Shashumna and are found within the vertebral column. Ida is on the left side and conducts mental energy, which is responsible for our mental and psychic functions. And Pingala is on the right side of the spine and conducts the vital energy of our entire body and all its processes. And Shashumna is considered the most important. It flows within the center of our spinal cord, but in most people lies dormant. This nadi is responsible for conducting our spiritual energy and awakening all the dormant areas of our brain. So as we progress on our self-development and spiritual journey, we learn to go from the gross to the subtle, realizing awareness of our pranic, mental, psychic, and unconscious bodies. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed our topic for today. If you did, please help me out and hit the subscribe button the little notification bell, and share with anyone who might find my content valuable. Until next time, many blessings to you. Peace.